and welcome to another Science Man digital lesson. Today I'd like to talk about the legacy effects of volcanic eruption. An excellent example is Mount St. Helens. Mount St. Helens erupted spectacularly back in 1980, creating great devastation and killing 57 people. The Mount St. Helens eruption was a unique one in the sense that it was actually triggered by an earthquake that caused a massive landslide on the volcano's north slope. In fact, much of the north face of the mountain collapsed. This resulted in a massive pyroclastic flow that burst out sideways from the side of the mountain. The magnitude of the eruption was staggering. The entire eruption ejected about 3 billion cubic meters of material. That's enough rock, ash, mud, and lava to fill 1 million Olympic-sized swimming pools. The impact of such a massive amount of material on the environment is far-reaching and devastating for many years to come. Thirty years after the eruption, tons and tons of ash sediment still wash into the watershed each day. If it's not removed somehow, it ends up burying and choking the ecosystem downstream, preventing all sorts of native organisms from surviving. So what can be done about all this sediment? Enter the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers, who built the Toodle River Sediment Retention Structure, which is a fancy name for a 56 meter high special dam that slows down water flow so that sediment falls out of the water. The side effect of this is the area behind the dam fills with sediment. The Army Corps of Engineers expects the lake behind the dam to completely fill with about 300 cubic meters of sediment by 2035. However, recent observations are showing the basin is filling a bit more rapidly than expected. I hope you enjoyed learning about the legacy effects of volcanic eruption. Thanks for viewing this digital lesson.